Estate, and this is uh, my primary lender, John Adams, with Lynn First Mortgage, good colleague of mine. And I wanted to, uh, we wanted to create a video uh, real quick about why it's still a good time to uh, purchase a home in today's market, even with the rising interest rates. And I thought it'd be a great idea for John to kind of answer some of those questions uh, about what kind of uh, products and availability there are right now and kind of what the market is doing and what that means to you. So, John, could you help us, uh, you know, could you help answer some of those questions for our buyers as, you know, um, and even sellers possibly is why is why is it still a good time to purchase a home? Absolutely, Kevin. Thanks for, for having me here. Um, it's cool. short, sweet, I guess, to the point, marry the house, date the rate. Right. So what does that mean? Right. We, you know, maybe some people have heard that before. Sounds um, good. <laughs> yeah, sounds good right? so, um, yes. Rates are rising. All right. But so are, so are house prices still. Right. So, um, you know, you know, these statistics a little bit more than I do, but from what I've been hearing, you know, the, the average house is still rising, you know, around what, four to 5%, you know, right now yearly. So a $300,000 home, if it's at 5% increase right now, that's an extra 15,000. That house is now going to be worth 315 next year. You want to buy that house now, right? I mean, yeah. like that's, yeah. that's huge, you know, in one year to gain 15 grand in equity, you've seen how much you've already, you know, acquired. So that's still there. Um, interest rates will be what they are. They, they ebb and flow a lot. So that's why we say yeah. date the rate, you know, just get in, marry that house. If you like it, get it. Cause it's going to be more expensive next year. Um, and rates might be less, but the drop in rate is not going to ever catch up to the equity that you lost from the very beginning. So yep. you get in the house, you marry that, and then we can always date that rate, right? We can always get rid of it if it, if it gets better um, and we can refinance and get a lower rate. So that that's why it's still a good time to buy. I mean, if if the sell or the, excuse me, if the prices of houses were declining and rates were going up, then yeah, that would, we would be in a world of hurt. Um, but right yeah. now, this is, this is when you see a lot of investors and a lot of people with money. What are they, what are they doing right now? Well, they're holding on to it. They're saving. They're ready. They're going to start buying. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're buying houses. They're buying properties because yeah. nobody else is. So they're going to get in. And when the market shifts, they have all the equity and yep. that that's why. Okay. So, you know, Wealth, Which causes prices wealth, to go up again. Yeah, wealth will be built through through real estate. So, um, the average buyer that's out there right now has to have decent credit, has to have some money down. I mean, that's just kind of where we're at right now. I'm sorry, but 150 bucks a month to 200 dollars a month in interest rate shouldn't make or break somebody from buying the house that they truly want and, and that they can go ahead and get um, and know that there's going to be more equity in that house in one year and they can the, the rate is always ebb and flow that always comes and goes well that's like a like we learned in school a long time ago the bell curve you know what goes up must come down what goes right. goes down must come up so even though we're at seven percent and the projection if i remember us talking correctly possibly by the end of the year we don't have a crystal ball people just fyi is that it could go as far as up to eight percent so um, yeah, they, they said that the feds could do another 100 basis point to 125 basis point hike in, in the fed rates, uh, which is not an actual correlation to the mortgage rates. But right now in a volatile market, they, they're going up, you know, so um, that that's going to create some more uncertainty. That just means they haven't gotten ahead of inflation yet. So uh, once they get that curved and inflation kind of stops and starts to slow down, that's when you're going to see more confidence in the bond market which is going to really start pushing the rates back down because there's more confidence yep. out there. And, and we've heard that that could be by the end of Q1 of 2023. So end of quarter one, beginning of quarter two of next year. So, you yep. know, you're, you're talking six, seven months of maybe an extra couple of hundred bucks a month to get the house that you want and potentially get into something cheaper. But that $200 a month into $15,000 and, and then the continuous rise in equity of a property over the years, you cannot make it up by saving a half a point on your interest rate right now. It's just, it does, the money does not add up that way. And depending on, it sounds like even depending on what type of loan they're getting, like if they're at FHA, even if they purchase a home now at 7%, let's say July comes around second quarter of 2023 and it goes, let's say interest rates just 
drop to 5%. I don't know. Let's make a number up here. It doesn't matter. 6%. Um, then, like you said, they could buy a point. They could do all these different, they could have these different options. By then, they may have enough equity in the house to where they could go conventional and drop PMI, for example. So right. there's just a lot of different, it's like you said, I mean, it, it depends on the situation, every person's situation, but um, you know, it, it's still a good time to purchase because prices aren't going down necessarily. Um, and if interest rates are going up or planning to go up, you know, at least capitalize on that for right now. Yep. So. Yeah, the um, worst thing you can do is wait you know, one month, two months, I've already seen it right now. I mean, we're re we're pre approving clients like every week we're re pre approving them. Yeah. So, yeah. Because it's like, Hey, last week rate was at, you know, 6%. And yeah. this week is at six and a quarter. Now it's at six and a half. You still haven't found a house. Oh man. You know, um, you know, we've got a client that's doing a new construct, buying a new construction right now yeah. and they're using us and the builder has delayed twice. Can't, can't get stuff yeah. done to shipping you know, just things are taking longer to come in. And yep. this house was supposed to be done in September. It wasn't done at the beginning of September. It's going to be November 1st. And this client has already lost out on a on a 1.5% in rate in the last uh, month and a half, last 90 days. And yep. there's nothing we can do about it, you know, um, except just, you know, because they keep pushing it out. And there's, you know, you can do a 30, 60 day lock, things like that. Um, some you can go up to 90 days, but the price is higher. And, um, you know, the clients just didn't elect to do that. We didn't have a crystal ball, but, you know, that now now they went from like 6% to 7.5. So um, that that doesn't feel feel good, right? When yeah. you could have just, you know, 6% right now sounds really good when they thought it was high. <laughs> I mean, because it, yeah. a month and a half ago, it was. Right? <laughs> yeah. not, not, now, not now. So uh, now they're like, hey, back in May, it was 5%. So. <laughs> so here's what I tell a lot of my clients, Kevin, and just kind of wrap this up is, you know, when you have that decision as a buyer to do I lock now or do I wait to see if they come down? I've seen this happen so many times. I tell all my clients, like, if you were one, Kevin, I'd say, listen, man, if we lock in today, it's inevitable that rates are going to go down and you're going to be pissed, right? Right. They're going to go down. Right. But if rates go up, you know, and you locked in, you know, you're fine. Right. So, you know, either way it's, you know, we lock you in and they, they go down or we don't lock you in and they go up either way. It's not, you, you're playing with too much emotion. Get that out of the way. Just go ahead, lock the rate. If you're happy with what you're getting, don't worry about what the market's doing. Just, you know, just get what you know you've got. If it makes sense, do it. And I think that goes back to what you said. And we, we can end it with this is guys marry the house, date the rate. It'll right. go back down. Um, so, time, so don't worry. Yes, sir. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. I hope uh, that was, in, uh, that was uh, some good information for you guys. If you have any questions, I will have uh, both mine and John's contact information below. And you can contact us anytime with any questions. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, John.